problem, government is the problem. Marcus? Reagan. Reagan, very good. And the other is there is no alternative. Marcus? Churchill. Not Churchill. <laughs> the other one, the female one. Thatcher, Thatcher. very good. A generation ago. So, Councillor, just to sum it up, I'm, I'm, almost there. There. I'm almost there. George, really, this isn't question period. But we do have a time. Yeah, yeah. There, there, is, there is a vicious belief in the English speaking world that government is not a force for good in people's lives. And I would argue the hijinks and follies and failures that you see at Toronto City Council is the end point of that belief. We have an administration and a political conversation in the city which is all about de destroying government. And that's why we're in the morass we're in. See, I knew I was getting to the end. Great, thank you. Councillor Stins, what's your take on this? Thank you, uh, George. I, um, when I was reflecting on being on this panel and thinking about the contributions that I might be able to add, it was one of, you know, potentially balanced, different perspective, but um, also the reflection of the last nine years that I've been on council, and partic particularly the last three, where we see political leadership coming from different places. And so, in some respects, I think the mayor has shown real leadership. He got the budget under control, got the union contract signed without a strike, first time in a long time that we've been able to say that. Uh, we've wrestled with the budget, we're now wrestling with the police budget, got the transit budget under control. So. In, in terms of the fiscal responsibility, fiscal accountability, and fiscal platform, I think the mayor has demonstrated real leadership. And I think that's what the city was asking for in 2010, and I think there has been a delivery on that, on that platform. What I think is also very exciting is that council has also stood up and shown leadership when there was an absence of it. And I looked to the transit plan and light rail plan, and uh, again, working across the, the floor to make sure that we could arrive at consensus in ways Exactly. that um, even I would not have predicted at the beginning of the term. And within that context, we've seen the, the mayor show leadership, we've seen council show leadership, and we've seen other areas of the city, like civic action and other groups, nonpartisan groups, the Board of Trade, they've stood up and shown leadership as well. So it's been an exciting time for me in city politics because everyone points to the mayor, and in fact, we have a great deal of leadership in, in other areas. And I think what we need to do is now harness some of that and say, you know, to, to your point, Gord, what is the city that we want to be? What, is, what does that city look like? And how, how do we engage the small business, the grassroots, the political leadership, the mayor, and, you know, where is it that we want to go and how do we get there together? So from my perspective, I, I actually think we've seen quite a bit of leadership. It's just come from different places than we might have expected. So I, I think...